So not long ago, we sat down and talked about what I believed to be the deepest position group in the nation, and that was the Alabama Crimson Tide's outside linebacker edge rush group, consisting of five five stars and enough blue chip prospects to fill a few different rosters. It is insane how loaded it is. But today, we need to talk about an individual who I think is set to have a major sophomore campaign because they had a freakish freshman campaign. And of course, we're talking about Dallas Turner. Before we do, as always, y'all know the drill. I want to hear from you. Hop down to the comments, why for yes, in for no. Do you agree that Dallas Turner is poised for a major second season? And let me know what you're thinking. If you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Hit that bell notification. I do constant college football content. You don't want to miss any of it. And we are a hair away from 11,000 subscribers, and I would love to have you a part of that journey. If you enjoyed the content, like and comment down below. Those interactions are really massive to content creators such as myself. But with all that being said, let's hop right into this because Dallas Turner is an individual that should be making much more headlines than he is. But because of the presence of Will Anderson, a lot of times he's going a bit under the radar or at the very least more under the radar than he should for a true freshman that through seven games put up eight and a half sacks and 10 tackles for loss. Dallas Turner was on fire during his freshman campaign, and he's only going to be getting better going into his sophomore campaign. And when you really look at the situation that presents itself to Dallas Turner, you have got to be excited. Because if Alabama is able to replicate the production they got from Mathis on the interior, and it doesn't even have to come from one individual, if the veteran guys in that defensive line group can step up and match the presence and the production Mathis gave them, Will Anderson and Dallas Turner are going to have a field day this next upcoming season. Offenses are going to be so preoccupied trying to stop one that the other one is going to have a game. Because when you look at the whole situation, if Alabama replaces the production on the interior, you're really not going to have an easy time doubling anybody. And if you do double somebody, you're almost writing the end result for yourself because it's going to be so difficult to contain this pass rush. Whenever you had a true freshman capitalize through seven games on eight and a half sacks, 14 solo tackles, 10 tackles for loss, that's the writing on the wall saying that individual is about to have a major boom in their second season. Whenever you put that individual across from Will Anderson, now you can imagine how they will play off each other. It's going to be a nightmare for opposing offenses to figure out where they're going to pool their resources to be able to slow these two down. Because it'd be one thing entirely if you just had Dallas Turner. You would feel over the moon if you had Dallas Turner and then an average collegiate edge rush opposite of him. Much the same way you'd feel over the moon if you had Will Anderson and just an average collegiate edge rusher opposite of him. But when you put them together, now you're making an offense pick and choose. And that's only going to be furthered if that production can be matched. And make no mistake, Alabama fans, I'm not saying I'm concerned about the interior defensive line position for the Crimson Tide. Couldn't be further from the truth. I'm curious. I'm curious as to who's going to step up because there are so many names in that room. If I didn't think there were names in that room, we'd be having an entirely different discussion about it. But because there are so many different names on that interior defensive line group, I'm interested to see who steps up because their stepping up is going to mean big things for these two edge rushers that the Crimson Tide fields. But when you look at this with Will Anderson going into his junior season, you have to imagine that this is going to be his last stint in an Alabama uniform. And as much as I would love Will Anderson to play all four years at Alabama, we need to understand he's already being talked about as a top five pick. And I don't think his production is going to go anywhere for all the reasons I've just listed that I think Dallas Turner is going to boom. You can carry all of those over as to why I think Will Anderson is only going to have a bigger year. Because with Dallas Turner improving, you're not going to be able to pull the resources away from Turner's side as easily to stop Anderson. And likewise, if the interior production is matched, now you're in an entirely different nightmare. And I, as an Alabama fan, love it. So Dallas Turner, a name that is going to be synonymous with success in the household level sooner rather than later, is someone that we need to keep an eye on. Because there are a lot of talented edge rushers behind Dallas Turner. And though I don't think any of them are going to take his job, the presence of that talent, the presence of that much competition is a net positive for the room in its entirety. Remember what we say all the time. 
iron sharpens iron. And whenever you have five five stars competing for two full-time jobs, now it does afford you the ability to rotate, keep Turner, keep Anderson fresh and healthy. That's the beautiful thing, and they probably will do that. They're all going to be pushing each other and making each other better, and that, at the end of the day, is what the Crimson Tide is all about. Having these talented individuals pushing each other and having them make each other better. So it's going to be interesting to see what the second year has in store for Dallas Turner because I think we're looking at two people for the Crimson Tide that are going to post double-digit sacks. I mean, when you look at it, Dallas Turner notching 8.5 this year, Will Anderson with 17.5, they're both going to be over 10 sacks next season, and I would put a bet on that right now because I just don't see how you're going to slow them down. But I am very interested in hearing from y'all. Not long ago, we talked about this room and how incredibly loaded it is. But what do you think about Dallas Turner going into his second season? Can't wait to hear from y'all. That's it. See ya.